So what do we have here? We have a box of awesome, or at least something that should be awesome. Today we're going to unbox the Google Nexus 7 tablet. So let's get to it. So I ordered the Google Nexus 7 tablet the second the order page went live on Google Play during Google I.O. And today I finally have it in my hands. It shipped on Friday the 13th and today is Tuesday the 17th and it showed up on my doorstep. So I'm pretty excited to see how this tablet shapes up. So without any further ado, let's open this up. All right, got some packaging in here, and the Nexus tablet is right in the bottom here. So here's the box here, Nexus 7, and they cleverly used the actual tablet to make a 7 here, which is pretty cool. And it is manufactured by Asus. On the back here it says made for Google Play. It's a full-fledged Android tablet, the first tablet with Android Jelly Bean on it, which is the latest version of Android. And for those of you keeping score, it's Android 4.1. And it's pure Google, no skins. So let's slide it out of the sleeve here. So it's basically a plain black box with some Nexus branding embossed in it here. And I'm gonna have to get my cutter out again and cut this open. All right, so let's open this up for the very first time. And here we go, here's the tablet. It's a seven inch tablet. And let's get it out of here. And put it to the side. Also in the box here, we have this, and I don't think there's anything else in there. So let's put this to the side. And let's see what's in here. We have some documentation. Nexus 7, warranty, and quick start guide. We have the USB cord and the wall adapter, and that's pretty much everything that's in the box there. Let's pull this out. The wall adapter here has Asus branding on it, and you have your prongs here for the outlet in the United States here. Of course, you have Asus on the other side, and there you have the port for your USB cord, which is right here, and that's pretty standard. So here's the Nexus 7, and if you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that I really like 7-inch tablets. They seem to be just the right size as far as I'm concerned and I did a full review on the Amazon Kindle Fire, and you can find that here on my channel. But this tablet seems like it is the seven inch tablet to beat. So let's open this up, pull it out of the plastic here, and just slide it out, if I can. There we go. So there we go, untouched, nice and shiny for now. So let's take a quick tour around the device. It is the Nexus 7, and that's because it is a seven inch tablet measured diagonally. Up top here, you have your camera. There are no buttons on the front of the device. If you're familiar with Android ice cream sandwich and above, you know that Android dropped the physical buttons and now works with software based buttons. Feels nice in the hands. It's not too heavy. On the bottom here, you have your micro USB port and your headphone jack. And although you can orient tablets any way you want, it is nice to have the headphone jack natively on the bottom. That way, if you're listening to something, it's always coming out of the bottom and not the top. On the right side of the device, you have your volume rocker here. 
and your power button. On the top, you have nothing. On the left hand side of the device, you have nothing except for these pins here, and that will enable the device to know if it's docked into a dock or not. On the back of the device, you have your Nexus branding embossed in the back, and you also have your Asus branding embossed in the back here, and down here on the bottom is your speaker, this bar here. Now there should be a mic on here somewhere, I think it's right up here, right up top, there's your mic. So unlike the Amazon Kindle Fire, it's nice to know that you can actually use the voice-to-text options on Android. Now you'll probably notice up close like this, you have a dimpled texture back here. And it actually is a very soft touch here. It almost feels like leather. Supposedly it's inspired by Steve McQueen. So says Mateus Duarte. So it feels nice in the hands. It's not going to slip out of your hands easily because of the textured back. And it seems like it's going to be a very nice device. Now supposedly this device was designed to fit perfectly in your hands and that's why you have these tapered edges this way but it doesn't lead to a point it also tapers this way and you might notice a silver tone around the rim here and that's a silver toned plastic. So that's the Nexus 7 as it boots up here for the very first time and we will see you in the next video when I actually take you through booting up this device for the very first time and other videos on the Nexus 7 Jelly Bean tablet. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or favorite this video if you want to help out my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.